Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is doing well. We're gonna go ahead and just do random messages. We're gonna see what comes out. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and stick around. If you're new to this channel, Gemini, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have any information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Okay, Gemini, if you are returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I really hope that everybody is doing what's best for them. Thank you guys for all the love, all the support, all the good vibes, all the good energy, all the messages, all the emails, everything that you guys do. You guys are freaking awesome. I love you guys so much. Yeah, that's damn straight. You guys are the golden egg, okay? Okay, I just found it very interesting that Moth came out here because I did pull like the target energy. Like you have your focus on something, okay? You are very on target. You have your eye on the prize. There could be a re direction of your focus Gemini you could have really been focused on something and now you're redirecting your focus okay you, there's this energy with the turtle turtle squad coming through like there's this energy of like not not yes slow but steady but taking it one step at a time okay um there is this energy of trying to get more grounded or really trying to form some kind of sense of um, a safe space for yourself, okay? As you move through the darkness, perhaps, some of you might feel like there's sharks around you or there's people around you that maybe don't have the best intentions or maybe would prey on certain aspects of yourself that they might deem weak, okay? But with this moth energy, there is something about being drawn in essence, okay, with the moth, feeling like you're being drawn towards something. Some of you guys could really be looking deeper into spirituality or into your religion or into yourself. There's something about that, like looking towards the light, moving towards the light, the light being a source of comfort for you, okay, but also a source of curiosity because it's like, what is there? What's there? Why do I feel so drawn towards this? Like some of you are feeling very led or very drawn towards something right now, Gemini, with these rando messages. And it does feel like there's this something about this that like, you know, the moth can be drawn in against its better judgment, right? So for some of you, there's this energy of wanting to put the brakes because you're not sure if you're being led against your better judgment, right? But there is a sense of being led out of the darkness towards the light. So I feel like there's this uh, energy of surrender, surrendering to the pool or surrendering to the flow. Okay, Gemini? Some of you guys can be feeling really creative too right now, like really wanting to create, wanting to... I'm seeing somebody blowing dust off something, so they're... Okay, for some of you that could signify that you are wanting to pull out something that you've done from the past and you want to bring it back, okay? For others of you, there could be this energy of I saw sawdust getting blown. So some of you might be like woodworkers or you might be building something. Some of you guys might be building like cages for moths or for bugs or something or I, I'm getting somebody building something. Um like with hammers and nails and stuff okay like all that technical complicated stuff that i don't know nothing about all right so let's see what else do we have here guess yeah, somebody's definitely like a carpenter or they work their work with wood some of you might like are there such is there such thing as wood moths or moths that live in wood or dig into wood or attach their cocoons to wood there's something like that there's something about that i don't know gemini anyways these are rando messages right rando Rando messages, butterfly. Well, I think we're on the right page here. There feels like there's something with your mind here that's being expanded. Like you're feeling led towards something, but at the same time, there's a huge transformation or transition that's happening. Death energy, Scorpio energy showing up in the house for sure. There feels like there's been a transformation that's almost like lit a fuse or lit a path for you, Gemini, like lit a way forward, okay? Because when I see the elephant, I think, especially in this card, I feel like there's something about leading the path or clearing a path, okay? And if you notice this elephant, like one of these uh, tusks are broken. So there is this an energy of possibly having been through some kind of trauma or experienced some kind of loss. Maybe the, you feel like Gemini, there's a part of you that will never be the same. Like maybe you feel like something was very precious was taken from you too, but this caused this transformation. Because when we think of the elephant and the ivory tusk, we think of luxury, right? We think of something that is preyed upon, something that is sought after, something that people would gladly just take this whole life, this whole incredibly 
beautiful, majestic, gentle giant, but not gentle when it needs to be, right? Anyways, um, but take this whole life and just take it away just for the tusks, right? Like, there's something about that. Like, some there could be this energy of having went through something where that was, you felt maybe a little bit violated or a little bit like somebody maybe stole something from you that was valuable. But... I digress because it feels like it was for the better, even if it hurt, because it's caused some kind of growth or shift. Um, and maybe it's made you go back to the light. Maybe you were veering off with this moth energy and it's like, now you're back on course. Now you're back on target, something like that. Okay. And then we have the frog. We got the creepy crawly energy, creepy crawly gang in the house. Leave your bugs down below your butterflies, your caterpillars, your ladybugs, whatever bugs, ants, right? Whatever bugs you want, guys, leave it in the comments. Cause that's what we got or a frog, I guess. All right. So yeah, the frog energy is like very dualistic Gemini, which goes perfectly with your energy. It's like, you know, there could be this sense of being submersed in your emotions or being submersed in this energy of needing to kind of navigate through with your intuition or with your feelings, but really grounding this out in the physical. So some of you might be feeling led towards creating something or bringing something into the reality, right? Something that you, was very much a pull, very much an intuitive notion, but now it's getting grounded into the reality. The frog can traverse both water and land and spends a good deal of some of its life in water and then some of its life on land. So Gemini, there is that dualistic nature here with the frog and th there could be something with that with you. Like you've spent a good part of your life submersed in maybe this energy of thinking about something or fantasizing about something or trying to dream something up and something has transformed within you where now there is this energy of kind of hopping in. If you will allow me, okay, hopping into a new situation here or like a whole new world kind of really because when you think about that yeah I'm not taking any more I just want the three but hyena coming out there could be something about you had to face your shadow side Gemini and maybe that's helped you learn how to face the shadow sides within others we see this snake energy with its protective stance of really you know trying to protect its essence you might have felt like again there was some energy of something that was there to take or was there to drain okay with the snake energy there's a lot of like untapped potential too that's coming to the surface especially with your creativity with that tiger energy the tiger is a very feminine energy it's it's passionate it's fiery right there's this energy of hunting too with the tiger going after something pursuing something but it is very feminine and it is led by intuition by the moon so pisces cancerian energy coming through and actually i don't know when y'all are going to see it but i'm filming this on the full moon so i'm just saying though um yeah, I, I don't know, Gemini. There's almost been like this energy of being a little bit all over the place. I don't, I don't, with this lamb, it kind of gives me the energy of like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but it is. And with the dragonfly, that's a flighty mind. So there could be a need to kind of zone that in or hone that in, get really focused in your mind's eye, okay? Let's go ahead and keep pulling random messages for you, Gemini, and see what we got here. Let's see what you're being led towards or. Um, you know, what the pull is that you're feeling right now with this moth energy for Gemini with these random messages. What is this, right? I feel like uh, the hourglass just tried to pop. I feel like there could be this energy here of like, maybe time is of the essence, right? Like maybe you're feeling like there's a time limit or um, you're feeling all of a sudden this rush or this motivation to go after this or pursue this or pick up this, you know, hobby or this skill or this talent, right? We have the chosen energy coming out. I feel like you are working on balancing yourself, getting all of your chakras in alignment, Gemini, okay? Especially if there's been this distorted energy of masculine, like not a, maybe a distorted masculine in your life, Gemini, but maybe within yourself too, just feeling like burnt out or feeling like you're having to force things where, really there should just be the flow like if you're pulled towards it then obviously it's for you it shouldn't be that damn complicated so I feel like you're not trying to be involved in situations that are over complicated unnecessarily right like I feel like you know that you're chosen for things Gemini you know that you're destined you know you have a path and I feel like spirit's calling you back to that path if you have been off target if you felt like possibly there has been this energy of like I've been off path yes Maybe you went off path because you 
Maybe there's a sense of like people around you making you feel like you weren't on path or maybe you were judging yourself a little too harshly. Maybe things were coming up really fast and it was making you feel some type of way. I don't know, but there feels like maybe you've been hard on yourself, Gemini, and you need to see the, the regalness within you. We're going to put that on top, girl. The chosenness, okay? I also feel like, Gemini, you look really good and people judge you because of that, right? Like whatever you do, it doesn't necessarily have to be about your looks or about your body. It could be about the work that you do, you know, the product that you produce, okay? Whatever it is, like maybe how you speak or how you present yourself or um, maybe, I don't know, you're part of the PTA and you always make the cupcakes and they're always like some kind of gourmet, what have you. Like there's something about you that really shines, Gemini, and you might feel like you get a lot of judgment because of that. You might feel like there's like... It's cold out here and nobody really understands me like spirit, like the light, like my ancestors, like this, you know, and it's like, that's the path. For some of you, you're eclipsing out that energy of anything that makes you feel less than anything that makes you question your self-worth or question if you're worthy or question if you're this or you're that, like you're really going towards this light, going towards this energy of knowing that you're selected for greatness, Gemini, because I feel like you fucking are. Okay. Yeah, some of you feel like there was a good lie around you that maybe, I feel like for some of you, you might have been feeling like you were getting signs about this, but it could have been signs and you weren't maybe interpreting the right way. Like this could have been something that was very much an indulgence that your ancestors were leading you away from, okay? I feel like you, you definitely listened to that call with that eclipse energy. Okay, Gemini, yeah. Something was like stagnating you um, energetically or you saw that it was going to stagnate you or something was calling you to move out of this stagnation, right? Calling you to balance yourself and maybe there was some fear behind that. I don't know. Take it as it resonates though. What is this butterfly? What is transforming for Gemini for these random messages? I don't know what song that is that they just played. They were playing something, but then it got really low, so I didn't hear it. There could be that energy of needing to turn down your volume for some reason, Gemini. I don't know why, but turning down your volume suddenly. You might be riding through a neighborhood and you, like, you had to turn your volume down. I don't know why I just got that, but I did. Anyways, I feel like things are about to move in a very auspicious way for you. Like, you're not going to be expecting some of the transformation that's up ahead or some of the movement that's coming in. There could also be somebody like a Scorpio coming towards you, Gemini, or somebody who has Scorpio in their chart heavily, okay, for sure. What else do we have for this? What is this Knight Rider that's coming in? Yeah, there could be something that wants to, that, okay, that's what it is. I feel like you're moving away from things that have been transform, like uh, disrupting your everyday life, but also this has caused you to transform. That's the energy. Um, <laughs> I, like, I feel like for some of you, there could be this energy of unexpected things coming in the everyday, right? Some of you guys are going to get the tea in regards to something. Yeah, could be these bird bitches. Somebody might be watching you trying to get the tea, Gemini. Somebody could definitely be watching a divine masculine trying to get the tea. I just saw that. This could be a couple people. It feels like it would be a group, though. Yeah, these people feel like it's only a matter of time before they snatch that crown, though, right? And some of them trying to snatch this gift, especially if it's a divine masculine. They might feel like this person can't cleanse themselves or something like that. I'm getting that. There is some, yeah, look. Some of you guys, Gemini, somebody's not happy that you've kind of moved on. They feel like you cut and run on them or you moved out. Uh, you put your focus to other things. Um, this person might be really watching you right now, trying to get the tea. They might not be happy that they're bitch, I'm drowning, and you're not. Right? Like, I feel like, yeah, there could be this energy of, like, you're moving on or you're trying to love yourself or you're doing what's best for you. And this person might really not be happy about that because of, yeah, whatever reason. Sell your soul. I feel like because you didn't accept their gift that they were selling. Get you sailed away. You did, Gemini. For some of you guys, I'm getting that energy, though. Okay? I feel like this person, yeah, was trying to offer something. But what were they trying to offer? I don't know. Let's get some of these off my board, though, because it's a little sloppy. What is this a frog energy for Gemini? What are they leaping into? Right? What is Gemini leaping into? Healing. I feel like growing from a dark space. That's the energy, Gemini. There's a lot of focus on you, especially from the other side. They're really encouraging you to take care of yourself, relax, rest, 
drink water, do what's best for you, take care of your house, right? Um, allow yourself to heal. Uh, also, there's something about connecting again with the other side too. Like, yes, you're grounded in the 3D and yes, you have to play by this uh, world's rules sometimes. And yes, you have to make really practical and logical decisions, but allow yourself to connect with this uh, energy of spirituality because I feel like you're being called very much to that too. Like some of you, it's like, sometimes it's time to grind. Yeah, but sometimes it's time to just sit back and relax, right? There is this energy of something coming back around uh, with the spiritual warfare and the second chance, maybe trying to be strategical. But this is also you being stra uh, strategical about trying to get back to basics within your own life, like with the healing that you're going through. Like you feel like you might have a second chance at something coming up here, Gemini. And it, it might involve, yeah, money, okay? For some of you, especially Divine Feminine. Damn, girl! Yes, for Divine Feminine in particular, you definitely have some messages coming through about value, a collab, money. Like, your money about to blow up, honey. Okay, some of you got lots of offers, lots of gifts, lots of things. Look at that. It doesn't only, only have to be Divine Feminine energy, but it could be you in your Divine Feminine. Blah, blah, blah. It could be you in your Divine Feminine energy is what I'm trying to say. For my masculines out there, right? In the energy of surrendering, in the energy of going with the flow, allowing yourself to be led, not trying to control, right? Like if you're being pulled, you're being pulled. If the signs are there, the signs are there, right? There's like this energy of that. But with Divine Feminine, if you're in that energy, I feel like there's something that's coming around that's giving you a chance at being successful again. Like it's, it's bring it back like type of energy. Yeah. Honestly, guys, I feel like this might be something that you were kind of grasping at in the past. I ain't going to lie to you. And now you're like, mm, totally chill with it. Like, it's all good. Okay, let's see. I, I think we're going to get some guidance slash additional messages and then call it a day. What do we have for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know, spirits? We have unknown gift. That's what I'm saying, guys. You have something coming towards you. Spirit has something planned for you. Um, involve into your complexity that makes me feel like there could be something that you weren't really reaching beyond what you could like you were only reaching for what's right there accessible but there's something about your reach can go further and you need to reach beyond your comfort zone okay um allow yourself to expect something new or expect something different or be okay with changes be okay with something new allow yourself to step out of your comfort zone because there's something about this gift that's unknown that yeah you don't want to be like an ostrich with your perception like unwilling to bend unwilling to accept the gift because it's not the way you know what I mean I don't know <clears throat> there's something like that that's what I'm getting though. Prayer answered, so get out of your head. Yeah, for some of you, there is a prayer that's being answered here. So you just need to get out of your head. Something is going to be better than you can imagine. I feel like right now it is in this incubation period, Gemini, with that baby in there. Okay. Like it's not fully realized yet, but it is. Look, you cannot make it up. Spirits like come through, Jessica. Okay, but just trust. Look, with the mole. Aren't they blind and they're like digging through the dirt? It's like you might be, right? You might have to dig through the dirt a little bit or follow the light source through. Like there's something about coming up out of the darkness with all three of these cards, okay? So especially the lily here, there's some kind of energy of that. Like, yeah, your prayers are being answered. You might not realize that this gift is here or that it's coming, but it is. You need to get out of your head and you need to just trust. Even if you have to blindly feel your way through the situation. Okay? Even if you don't know where you're exactly going, that's the thing. That's what I'm getting here. Like something is sprouting or something. Uh, th this is like very stuck and I just saw the coffin card too. So there is something that might need to end or has ended and this has really encouraged this sprout suddenly. Like that's how it is with plants sometimes. Sometimes when you chop one little uh, branch off or a point off, it encourages a growth spurt somewhere else on the plant because the plant wants to live. It wants to survive. Just like you do, Gemini, right? Immense growth. Damn, I didn't even see that in my hand. Look, and claim your power, please, because somebody else will claim it if you don't. <sighs> Anyways, there's immense growth coming your way, so just trust that. All right, Gemini, that has been your reading, and I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.